Belgian forces occupied Rwanda from 1916 until 1962. The two main ethnicities in Rwanda are Hutu, 85% of the population, and Tutsi, 14% of the population. Twa is an uncommon religion at 1% of the population. In 1959, there was a Rwandan revolution, where the Hutus took power and oppressed the Tutsis. Before that, the Tutsis had power and oppressed the Hutus. This led to a 1994 genocide, where between 500,000 and a million Tutsis were killed. But since then, Rwanda has developed quite a bit and improved their country. Christianity is the main religion in Rwanda at 94% of the population. Islam is at 4.6% of the population. Irreligion is at 1.8% of the population. Almost everyone's first language is Kenya or Rwanda, but the official languages of the country are French and English. Rwandan sign language is used by the deaf that are educated. The main environmental problems in Rwanda are overgrazing, desertification, deforestation, soil exhaustion, soil erosion, and widespread poaching. Most of these problems can be fixed by a change from primary agriculture to primary service economy. The development level, the HEI level, I mean, is 0.8, of 0.483. Life expectancy is 64.3 years. 64.3 years. Expected years of schooling is 10.3 years. Average years of schooling, 3.7 years. GNI per capita is $1,458. 9% of the labor force is in the primary sector. 10% of the labor force is in the secondary, tertiary, and quaternary sectors. Rwanda is a unitary republic. Its legal system is based on Belgian law. The president is Paul Kagame, and he was elected into his second and final seven-year term in 2010. The World Bank is helping Rwanda develop along with International Development Association, or IDA. These are both non-profit organizations. Here's the map of Rwanda. It is small and oddly shaped. Here's the relative location of Rwanda. It is south of Uganda, north of Burundi, west of northern strip of Tanzania, east of DRC, uh, in central eastern Africa, in southeastern hemisphere, and is just south of the equator. It is about 2,000 miles east of the prime meridian. The main problems in Rwanda that aren't already being addressed by the IDA and the World Bank are energy, infrastructure issues, its high aid dependence, water sanitation, its clean water access, and poverty. My plan will address these issues along with helping Rwanda transition from an agricultural base to a service-based economy and increase the GDP per capita in education, ex- average years, and expected years. To resolve the water issue in Rwanda, I would place a purified water center or well in each town or area. This will allow anyone without the access to clean, purified water to come here and get some whenever they need it. To resolve the energy crisis, I would allow... I would. More power plants can be built in areas without electricity along with access to plants through electrical lines connecting to houses, businesses, and other places. This will add on to and complement the IDA support in the energy sector. New roads can be added to areas with no roads. They can also be added to connect roads between cities, towns, or rural areas. Since the population density is so high, it will be especially difficult to transition between an agricultural-based to a service-based economy, and a low-income to a high-income economy. If the right agricultural tools, techniques, education, and strategies can be given to farmers along with enough crops and livestock, then a small number of farmers can be able to support the large population. Techniques, education, tools, etc. could also be given to people working in the industrial sector, then they could also help support this large population of manufactured trade goods. This will allow the rest of the population to work in mostly service jobs instead of being supported by the farmers and industrial workers. This will also give the farmers and industrial workers a higher pay than they usually have because there aren't as many farmers and industrial workers. So more of that money could go to each person or family. The miners and other people in the primary sector could be paid more if less people can do these jobs and they can be given the tools and education to complete the tasks with less people. The people could supply the country with resources to use for themselves or to trade. The rest of the population could also receive a higher income because service jobs are of more value and these those people who work in these jobs are going to be paid more money. Also, there will be more people with extra money to spend on luxuries instead of necessities. So the service sectors and industrial sectors will receive more money to give to their employees. This will significantly reduce the percentage of people in poverty. This will also increase the GDP per capita at the PPP. Since more, peop- more jobs are service jobs, expected years of schooling and average years of school will go up since people need more years of schooling to hold a service jobs. Since there, will be, since there are less people in primary and industrial industrial sectors, there will still need to be many years of education for those people because they need to support a large population of people with a small amount of people. Also, with this increase of GDP per capita, the PPP will decrease Rwanda's risk of debt and its high dependence because it will have a better economy so there will be less of a chance for it going into debt. Debt. To support this economy, Rwanda will need to go the international trade route because it doesn't have enough variety of resources to support its economy on, it own, on its own very well. Rwanda is already doing pretty good with international trade. Its main exports are coffee and tea, along with metals and ores such as niobium, tantalum, vanadium ore, zirconium ore, tin ores, and tungsten ore. It mainly imports cars, refined petroleum, cement, packaged medicaments, and human and animal blood. The main places that Rwanda's exports go to are Tanzania, D- DRC, Kenya, 
Uganda, and China. The main places that Rwanda imports grow to are China, Uganda, Japan, India, and Kenya. With my plan, I believe that Rwanda can easily become developed with enough time, effort, and money put into this project.